All right, so I've got this boat here. And I'm gonna put a solar panel roof along here and on the other side. And where I'm up to right now is I need to put something down here for the bottom edge of the solar panels to rest on. And then something here and then something down at the bottom on the other side. Because these are like nine feet apart. So, you know, I need some support here and up at the top. So the solar panel is gonna push, 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 push. Uh, now, I want the solar panels to be able to tilt up so that if I want standing headroom in the whole boat, I can just tilt them both up horizontal. And then, you know, there will still be this in the way of people's heads, but, you know, there's only three of those. And if the sun's over there, I can tilt this side up to over there, and then if the sun's over there, you know, I can do the same thing on the other side. So they need to be hinged in the top some in some way that water won't leak through the hinge into the boat because you know I I want it to be waterproof in here rainproof anyway and I also need them to be hinged in such a way that they're really really strong and well connected because you know there might be strong winds or someone might try to steal them you know I want them to be really really on there good so before I make this top bar, I have to figure out how these hinges work because there's going to have to be a connection down to here and then a connection onto each solar, each side of the solar things. And then these ones aren't as important because the things just rest down there. But I want to do a little bit of thinking about that because most of the time the solar panels will be down and I want them to be locked to this. Hmm. I've, you know, kind of been rolling this around in the back of my head the whole time I've been building this thing. I was hoping by the time I got to here I'd have a good idea. Maybe there's a good idea in my brain somewhere. Let me go scribble some stuff on a piece of paper. Who knows, maybe I already thought of something good. I do have a couple ideas. Hey, what am I boring you guys to death? Where are you going? Okay, looking straight from the back, we have solar panels like that, and then solar panels like that. And somehow, I need them to pivot on that point up and be watertight. Right. All right. One of the ideas I had was, okay, say this is the pivot point, I have a, a part of a pipe here, and then a wider angle part of a pipe here, and these would just, hold on, okay, so this would be a, the end of a piece of pipe that's cut attached to this solar panel, and this is a slightly bigger one attached to this solar panel. It doesn't even have to be bigger necessarily. It can just be put at a slightly bigger radius so that it actually touches this one, these touch. And then when this when this solar panel goes up, this will just slide down in here. And when this solar panel goes up, this will just slide over here. And the whole time no rain will be able to get in there. No rain. I'll have to, you know, cock this and cock that to make sure the water goes So, that's what I'm... That, that actually sounds pretty good. Yeah, that does sound pretty good. Alright, I just have to figure out how to make this hinge good. It should be not too complicated, right? It's not complicated until I, I think about the fact that I need to actually make it. Cause you know, it's, it's easy to think of like the perfectly made thing, but I need to figure out how to make it too. And something I can make relatively easily. Alright, one obvious easy way to do it would be to have 
a pipe in here that goes the entire length from the back to the front. But then it's sliced a bunch of times so that one section of this pipe is connected to this solar panel, the next section of pipe is connected to this one, then the next section of pipe is connected down here, and just kind of have holes in them so I can rivet them into place. And then another pipe that would be solid all the way through goes inside here through the whole thing. Wow, that would be super, super simple. And I would just need my rivets to be recessed so this pipe can get in there without the rivets just... Well, the rivets can scrape on it a little, a little bit as long as they don't you know, wear through it too much. So yeah, the rivets don't even need to be perfect, just mostly recessed. So I need thick pipe, fat pipe, yeah. I remember at the store, they had some fat pipes. Huh, yeah, I might wanna do that. All right, so kinda of like that. So I'd have two bigger holes here, and then two small holes here, and then a little bit bigger hole recessed a little bit into the plastic. And then these have to be big enough that my rivet sucker puller can fit in there, put the rivet in there, which connects to the solar panel on this side, uh, connect that rivet to there, connect that rivet to there, and then this will be hard connected onto there, and then the next one is the same thing but the opposite, connects to the other solar panel over here, so this one would connect here. And then the next one, you know, it's straight down, so I put my riveter through here to connect to the, uh, whatever's down here. You know, the main boat part, whatever. So each, each section of this would look kind of like this. Where these are holes to put the rivet gun through, the rivet puller. Not a gun, why do people call it a gun? It doesn't shoot anything! It's a puller! Anyway, you go in here, do the rivet puller, and it connects the rivet through the other side. And that would be super simple way to do it. And I can get those materials easily. I might even have them actually. And then <clears throat> I would just have a smooth outside here and then right in here I could do the other thing with the, the section of pipe. So instead of riveting this directly to the solar panel I have that in the, you know, I put a section of pipe in the way there, it comes up here. This thing. Alright, kind of like this. The only problem is these are going to have to be solid all the way down, which is going to block me from riveting. So once I've got, I mean, I could do one side, let me think. Yeah, I can get all of this side on, right? Putting the rivets through this way. But then when I want to do this side, I need this to somehow get out of the way so I can do the other side. Uh, I guess I can just... Alright. No, I know what I do. I, I build this side and this side separately. <clears throat> so... Okay. Right. I think this is going to work. So, every third one of these, this one and, you know, that one and that one and that one, I put them all on the pipe that's going to go through here, and I need to find one that'll fit pretty snug. And I just make sure they're the right spacage apart, and rivet them onto the, this side solar panel. And then I do the same thing with the other side, I do the second one, and then the fourth, fifth one, and then you know every third one there, to this side, and then to the the thing. I'll have to do you know the third, the sixth everyone to this and I'll just have to make sure I space them correctly and then once they're all in place I can just put them all together and then stuff the right thing right through yeah that'll totally work right so I'll have the ones the circles at the bottom attached to the bottom and then I can take this guy slide it into place and then take this guy slide it into place just I might have to like shove this up a little bit just to make sure it goes over this one and yeah once it's all in there I can just stuff the whoosh, pipe right through the whole thing and then I need to rivet that pipe solid so no one can pull the pipe out and you know have my solar panels fall off or something
I'll just, I don't know, I'll probably, I don't know. Somehow, maybe put some screws or, I don't know, something, I'll just have to lock it in place. Okay, I think that actually sounds really good. Hmm. Which means, for my, uh, my three cross beams, the top one is the important one. I can just, you know, make it like that at the top. The whole way down. And then maybe like that or something. And then, you know, I can have, uh, I can just rivet hoists onto the sides of here that go through here and then I can lift up heavy stuff and blah, blah, blah. But I might want to make this straight down. I don't know. Anyway, this was the thing I really wanted to figure out. Like what shape I could make this. But yeah, this pointy top will work really well with this style because I can just rivet right into the top. But I'll make sure it's a little bit curved so there's like a little flat surface to drill into and then put the rivets in. And if I, as long as I keep it straight the whole way through, I'll just be able to rivet them right on the top of there and it'll be all lined up. Yeah, that sounds great. Okay, this is sounding really good. Ooh, nice paper. I might have to frame that one and put it on the boat. Wait, why would I need a frame? It doesn't need a frame. Why does everyone want frames all the time? There's no need for frames. Oh, it's a scam. A scam run by those framing stores. A scam, I tell ya. Oh, good thing I bought 500 large head rivets. Well, maybe I can recess that. Mm, might not be too bad. But I did see some really thick walled blue pipes at the store. I might have to get those. I think that means it's time to go swimming. Again. I go swimming like eight times a day. I must work on my muscles somehow. If you could find any clothes to wear at the store, would you just let your beard grow long and use your beard as clothes? Yes, if I couldn't find any clothes, I would just grow my beard really long and use that as clothes. If you had fiber, sled, and a sewing machine, would you make it, would you just make yourself clothes? Yes, if I had cloth, a sewing machine, and some thread, I would definitely make myself some clothes because I think that would be much faster than waiting for my beard to grow big enough to cover my whole self. Jane, you are Pickle, and is your name Pickle Pants? <laughs> yes, my name is Pickle Pants because my pants are made out of pickles. <laughs> um, you, you, your pants are not made out of pickles. You are made of pickles because you're a pickle! Uh, what are you? Are you a pickle too? I 